Right, today I'm gonna do an uh, unboxing video of the uh, electric bike kit. This is the front wheel uh, electric bike kit uh, I ordered from eBay. Right, so here is the eBay page, and if you do a search for electric bike hub motor, uh, either hub motor or electric bike kit, uh, it uh, it always gives you the same result. And there are only uh, a few sellers. There are not a lot of choices, either front hub motor or rear hub motor. Uh, and most of them are 1,148 volts, like this one right here. And even though these sellers, they have a different name, uh, they are all from the same seller. Uh, they they are all from Southern California right here, or Tennessee. Uh, let's see, look at another one here. This one is North from North Carolina. But anyway, there are only a few sellers, and you don't have a lot of choices. And then uh, the choice now down to either you have a thumb throttle or a twist throttle. This one here has got a twist throttle, throttle right here. Okay, the other ones are. Uh, thumb thorough, but that's it. There are not a lot of choices. And so I went ahead and ordered an uh, uh, e-bike kit like this one. It's a front wheel conversion kit, 1000 watt, 48 volt motor. Uh, it's got a twist thorough right here. And the reason why I choose twist instead of thumb throttle is because uh, if you ever use an electric bike if you have a thumb throttle it's very tiring over the long drive that's why you see in a motorcycle the, they always have a twist throttle not thumb throttle anyway so uh, let's open this up and check this out let's see what's inside this thing by the way, it came really fast. Uh, only I ordered on Friday, and it came it came on Saturday. So really, really fast. And I pay I didn't pay for shipping. I just got a free shipping too. And that's really, really fast. So good. Back for the battery, I think. A tire or tube. Let's see what's this. This is the tube. Yes, you have to you have to install it yourself. The picture shows that uh, it has pre-installed tires and tube. Yes, not the case. Use a manual, which that's funny. This, it looks like a motorcycle, but it's, I think it is an uh, electric bike with fat wheel. It doesn't look like this at all. What else? Uh, this box here, you open it in a little bit. And the wheel. Very, very well packed. Right, so let's take a look at the hub motor. Got a good size motor here. Let's see how big the uh, motor is. It's about nine and a half inches in diameter. It's a good size motor. The wire goes straight to the core of the, uh, the hub here. And we got a nut here to install the wheel. Nut, nut, nut on this side. 
and the rim itself is aluminum painted black so pretty nice rim the rim is double wall you see here there's another wall on the outside okay they drill holes so they can they can store the uh, the spokes here and it's well protected uh, protect the spokes from uh, from puncturing the uh, the tube and also this second wall also added rigidity to the rim so makes it more rigid so it's more durable very good design A couple of wires, some wires here, uh, three color brushless wire. This is a very skinny wire. I'm not sure how this can handle a thousand watt 48 volt, which is around 20 amp. Very skinny. And well, we'll see. We will see how well this can handle. And this one is a five pin uh, hole sensor motor for the brushless controller. And that is uh, pretty much it for the wheel. All right, you got this box here. Let's uh, open it and check it out. Well, actually, I already opened it, so I'll show you what we got inside here. It's uh, plastic sleeves, and you can uh, protect the wiring. What's this round piece? I'm not sure what this is. It's got a magnetic eight magnetic uh, pieces on it. Uh, maybe a sensor of some sort. Don't know what that is. Figure out later. Take a look at the controller here. Brake handle. This to cut off the power. When you apply the brakes, the controller has a nice power wire. So these three wires go to the hub motor, two wires go to the battery, black and red here. This one is a whole sensor wire, and this one goes to the throttle. Throttle here. These two blue wires, I'm not sure what these are. Figure that out later. Yeah, this is very nice thick wire compared to the wire uh, on the hub motor. Twist throttle. And let's see. So you put this through the handlebar and then the whole thing twists. It's very nice. Just like a motorcycle. The whole thing twist. So that's the reason why I chose this instead of the thumb drive, uh, thumb drive because over the long drive it's very tiring. That's why you only see this in motorcycle, you know, in a gas motorcycle instead of this. You don't see this twist a twist starter in a, a regular gas motorcycle. Right on the twist starter, we have a power button. Turn on and off. And LED light indicator. It says full on the top, half, and empty. So well, that's nice. You know your battery level. Alright, that's pretty much it. And uh, my next video is uh, I'm gonna. Uh, build my own electric bike and the reason why I choose the front hub motor is because it's easier for me to uh, install and swap out with other bikes if I have to. Uh, the rear motor is better I think uh, when you go uphill it's, it, it's better. But then it's a little bit more complicated to install and uh, I just want to make it easy for me. And then I'm going to use a uh, uh, battery pack a lithium ion battery pack, uh, one that uh, uh, has never been uh, uh, done before. 
So stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you in the next video.